Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today I want to show you some of my guns from 1911 to 2011. I guess the generation of the guns goes from top here down here. So the first gun that I'm going to show you, this is Springfield Range Officer Operator. When it says operator, means it has a rail. So, and this is a nine millimeter. These are all nine millimeters. So it looks like this. Very nice gun for me because this made me shoot better and more accurate shooter. Because I transitioned from 45 to nine millimeter, much easier to shoot. So it gave me some courage and encouragement to shoot more. And that's the grip that I have. It came with the rear checkering. It didn't come with the front checkering, so I added the Wilson Combat front checkering. So it's a little bit of a <laughs> afterthought. And I put a little grip tape. It's peeling off Wilson Combat Magwell. At this time, I wasn't that interested in shooting, I guess, so that's why I just didn't really care. And right here, um, that's the grip tape that I put on the front for my thumb. Because I grip my gun here, just like this. So again, this is clear. So I grip my thumb just right here, perpendicular to the slide. And I, this is my shooting position. So that's why it's worn out here. Um, and. Uh, this one is from Kimber SIS, but I switched it from that gun. This doesn't have the enhanced mag release button. But anyways, uh, it's pretty decent gun. It's very budget friendly gun. <laughs> it came with a fiber optic front side. And the rear side is just regular white, a little bit dirty. So I might have to clean that out. Anyways, overall, just very budget friendly gun. I believe it was under thousand dollars then time has passed and i upgraded to sti this is the brand sti this is before staccato or sti changed their name to staccato so this is a nice one look check this out it has a full rail five inch the other one was a five inch also it's not a full rail gun compared to this so I guess some people like that traditional look of a 1911 better and also this is a single stack and this is a double stack so this carries 10 plus 1 and this carries 20 plus 1 or 23 plus 1 whatever the mag you, you choose to use it looks like that I have a grip tape here also tactical 50 I just don't like the font it looks like afterthought no design this is the DVC competition grip as a dragon scale and also I put some grip tape here so right there I get more grip and this has a nice stippling job here and this is the STI uh, competition mag wheel also this comes with the Dawson precision red fiber optic sight but no marking on the back so there's no confusion there's not too many dots you just have to make sure you follow the red dot so this is very very nice um, because it came with the bronze coating of the barrel very very nice looking like that 2011 double stack and after this, I switched over to Staccato P, which I carry on duty, so I don't have it right now. And this video is about this guy. Look at this. So this is a new pistol from John Wick Chapter 4, the TTI Pit Viper. 
This has a built-in compensator, bronze barrel, designed by Taryn Butler, and a nice stippling jaw, nice uh, competition magwell. Extended uh, mag release. That's nice. Terran Tactical Innovation came up with this design to help with the movie John Wick series. And uh, Pit Viper was created along with the Sand Viper. And not only this gun is poised to take the crown for the most badass handgun in Hollywood history, Terran sent in to compete in a first USPSA two gun national in 2021. Pit Viper was designed before the Sand Viper, but because of the movie's release uh, delay, Sand Viper was released first. Sand Viper is the one that has a red dot system on top, but no front and rear sight. So that's the difference and it has a bronze color. So like the Sand Viper, nothing has compromised in making this uh, serpent hidden <laughs> fang strike right here on the front. So what this comes with is a 5 inch large single pore compensator with DLC coating right here. A match gray barrel. It has a very very precision cuts. All these areas. This has the Terran Tactical traditional full wrap stippling. This is not a silicone type but this is just what they call full wrap stipple. So it looks like that. And it comes with on the bottom also. And it extends to the back. Very beautiful gun. It has a black DLC coating on frame and high polished slide. Uh, extreme engineering fire control group here and light speed hammer, ultra low mass sear, match disconnector, and titanium hammer strut. And the hammer strikes, very clean, look at that. Very light. Very nice. It has an Aftac extractor, TTI carry magma right here, so it's not like overbearing like the STI version. STI version is more like flared out, but uh, Terran Tactical version is more subtle, uh, but also it's very, very nice because it's wide. It has an extended slide release right here, which I love. I guess I can take that out and then put that in here if I wanted to because you can add stuff here too. Obviously, it's much easier to press, less pressure, so easy, easy to release the mag. And it has an extended checker mag release. The trigger pull is 1.75 to 2.25 pound of trigger pull. This one is set to 3.5 and 3.5 due to my on-duty work carry. Uh, my department, my agency set the rule as 3.5 as a carry option. So this won't be allowed because of the trigger pull and maybe because of the compensator. It has an ambidextrous blend of safety right here on the both sides, so it moves. And it has an accessory rail cut here. It's a wider cut than these. So check it out right here. Very thin, but look at this, how wide it is. So it will accept most of the flashlight. And it has a DLC coated steel checkered mainspring housing in here. And extended firing pin, TTI grip job. Built-in bladed standoff fangs here on the front. These one it opens up very sharp. And it includes two 126 millimeter and one 140 millimeter completed magazines with the base pads. This is very sought after gun um, and it's very, very expensive. It has a lot of their logos um, showing. So here, 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 here here and also here so you can see that right there on their website this retails for about tax and everything about $7,500 but 
since I couldn't afford that, this is the airsoft version that they allowed to make. This is the army version of uh, airsoft uh, terrain tactical TTI JW4 Pit Viper. So check this out right here. Very nice. It, it's weird how airsoft is almost same. <laughs> Look at this. Same setup as the real gun. That's crazy. And when it opens up, see, the front sight stays on the barrel. So it doesn't move with the slide. But the airsoft version, the fang doesn't come out like the real one. This doesn't retract back. This version is a little bit longer. This is 5.4 inch. Original Pit Viper is 5 inch. So it's a little bit shorter. But anyways, this is a beautiful gun. Uh, they sell that on Terran Tactical Innovations. I picked this up like this was one of the last, last um, airsoft gun from Army. Um, there's two kinds. There's a uh, Army version, which looks almost identical to the rear version. And there's a EMG version, which you can buy from e-bike, but it looks a little bit different. Anyways, I like this version. This is the green gas version. TTI, so you put the gas down there. If I didn't block this uh, with the paper, I'll show you something. So it comes out like that. It looks almost same as the real magazine. It's crazy, very similar. And the weight is same, like the fully loaded mag. But the gas is here. But if you don't put the rounds in here, this part becomes blocked, right? So when there's uh, rounds, this goes down, so it's not gonna lock. But once this comes up like this, it will lock up and the slide will open back. So I'll show you. Look, see, it will lock back just like that. So you have to hit that. Watch. I'll shoot it once. It will lock. Um, that's so awesome. Just like a real gun. So now, if you're running the airsoft battle or something, you just have to unload, um, exchange with a new one, load it, and uh, shoot again. See? But then, because there's no round, it locks back. So what I did to continuously shoot to practice a uh, little bit of a recoil at home because I didn't want to dry press I'd rather just use the real real looking guns so I block it like that so it's always empty so it will go in just like that okay see again it doesn't lock back and so again it's empty I mean it's airsoft down much you can just shoot multiple rounds so you can practice shooting so it will look like this when you're shooting it just like that and over here sideways so again i just bought this to practice because it has a very similar feeling as a real gun i just wanted to practice at home with a, a little bit less recoil so i wanted to feel the recoil to control the gun Thank you for viewing my video and see you on the next one.